Local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good evening, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. After a year-long discussion, the plan for a joint city-county animal shelter is back on the table. Newslink Indiana's Abby Walton reports, while the issue may still be open, an answer isn't expected anytime soon. Muncie Mayor Dan Cannon went before the county commissioner's meeting Monday. Commissioner Larry Crouch requested that the mayor tell the council the city still wants to be involved in a city-county animal shelter. Whatever they want to do is fine. If they want to work with us, that's fine. If they want to go on their own, that's fine. Currently, any animals outside the Muncie city limits are sent to the Randolph County Animal Shelter. The Delaware County Commissioner set aside $36,000 to give Randolph County for its services. Commissioner Larry Crouch says with financial and emotional perspectives in the mix, no matter what they decide, people still won't be happy. It's a win-win-lose-lose situation. Mayor Cannon says if a joint shelter is to occur, initial cost for the county to build onto the Muncie shelter would be about $400,000. Bonnie Hill from Muncie says she doesn't care whether Delaware County joins with the city or not, but wants to see the commissioners do something else. According to Hill, current conditions at the Randolph County Animal Shelter are deplorable, even though Larry Crouch says he's heard no complaints. I want to see them stop dragging their feet and make a decision. A decision that's not in the foreseeable future. Crouch says it will take a new board before an answer will be found. In Muncie, Abby Walton, Newslink, Indiana. A decision over a joint shelter won't be made until at least January. That's when a new city council will take effect. The Madison County Red Cross is sending help to clean up the devastation left from Hurricane Charlie. According to the agency's executive director, one person who specializes in opening shelters left Sunday. More people could also soon be on the way. I have a couple more that actually are out right now on vacation. They're supposed to be back and they're in specialized areas that they do need for them to go out. Uh, we have some techs that may be going out this week if they can make arrangements to get out. The volunteers work three week shifts with one day off a week while at the disaster area. Now here's Jennifer Cook with a look at our forecast. Jennifer. Thanks, Chris. Don't we see mild conditions with mostly clear skies, a low 58 degrees. Tomorrow, we're going to see a high of 82. Afternoon thunderstorms are likely because of a cold front. It's going to move through our area through the overnight tomorrow into the early morning hours Wednesday. Chris? Thanks, Jennifer. That is Newslink Indiana. Join us at 1057 tonight for more news and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com.